Joining me now on the phone is former FBI Assistant Director James Kallstrom. Assistant Director, what do you make of the Mueller announcement? Is he the man for the job? Good morning. Uh, yeah, you know, I think this is the start of a double-edged sword. Uh, certainly Bob is, is capable. Uh, he spent most of his life uh, in, the, in the Justice Department, so he's very capable. But the question is, is this Dagan? Is this going to drag on for a year or two years? Uh, these things have a way of uh, never, never ending, and uh, that would be pathetic, in my view. Yeah, but but on, the, but on the other side, you know, the Republicans seem so inept to actually get together and deal with the realities here. You know, from my uh, knowledge that I know, I don't have really inside knowledge, but uh, this isn't even a criminal investigation. This is a foreign counterintelligence investigation. And uh, collusion isn't actually a crime. I mean, you can collude. Uh, we all collude from time to time. We could con con uh, collude about a crime, but, that you know, we're way away from that. That hasn't even been talked about. What would the crime actually be and who would be involved? And uh, it's amazing to me that, uh, you know, this is the talk of the town. Uh, the fifth column certainly is doing a good job of keeping the talk of the town. But what about the uh, thousands of people that were apparently unmasked, you know, uh, that lost their Fourth Amendment rights, a good portion of them probably? You know, what about the leaks? You know, what is going on with these other investigations that, from my point of view, are much, much more important. But Jim, and uh, no. the unmasking could be one of the biggest scandals ever in the United States. Jim, to that point, though, the, the a special counsel, Robert Mueller, would have, and this is really a question, would have a fairly broad purview uh, to look into potentially these things that you're talking about, the unmasking, the leaking. Couldn't, he, couldn't that be folded in to the investigation if he sees fit? Yes, it could, and I think it, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't say that specifically, but it certainly, the language gives them the leeway to, to go there. But uh, the only point I'm making there, those things really need to be investigated. You know, uh, you know they're a they're hundred times more important than, you know, whether or not the Russians colluded in any way. You know, all these administrations that come and go, but, but, you know, talk to groups before they get in. You know, whether or not any of that collusion is a crime, I think, is something that, uh, you know, the Democrats want to, you know, talk about for the next four years. But in, it's just this is probably a good thing, but Mueller has to get it done, and he's got to get it done in a timely fashion. Yeah, that, that remains to be seen because, again, these investigations... Uh, the, the act of the special counsel can go on for years and years. I think it was yes. seven years in the uh, Iran-Contra affair. But I want to bring up something that you said, that the Republicans are inept to the realities here. But what could the Republicans have done, Assistant Director, to prevent the appointment of a special counsel? What are the Republicans not doing? Well, they, they just don't stick together, number one, <laughs> you know, on anything. You know, there's so many uh, rhinos there that, you know, there's actually not a Republican party. There's, there's like three different parties. So they just add to the confusion, I guess is what I'm saying. You know, and, and they, they give uh, news stories and, 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 and other things to the corrupt media just to keep this, uh, you know, this crescendo of the fifth column going here in this country. You know, they certainly don't stand in defense as a united group on a lot of this nonsense that's being talked about. You know, and I'm not prejudging, you know, the role Russia played, but my personal view is that it's all nonsense, pretty much. And, and um, but it's, it's their nonsense, and it's, it's the thing they, they uh, hold on to because they had such a horrible candidate, you know, and they want to just grind it into, uh, you know, the uh, public's brain for the next couple of years. So, you know, the the... Just the stuff that comes out, just like John McCain yesterday saying the things he said, just pathetic. Yeah, you're referencing, and, uh, he, he compared, I, th I think that one of the quotes yeah. was he compared this to Watergate. Yeah. You know, Obama came out publicly on numerous occasions during the Hillary Clinton so-called investigation and said, you know, she hasn't done anything wrong. You know, she, he made statements that were far more, far more uh, 
the ability to which you could say were obstruction of justice. I mean, he did it on numerous occasions. Right. Jim, I just want to point out that John McCain, in reference to, I believe it was the uh, Jim Jim Comey, the FBI director, the uh, the memo that was written uh, when he talked to President Trump that John McCain, the senator, said Trump's troubles have reached Watergate size and scale was one of the quotes from yesterday. To that point, though, I want to ask you that uh, this developing story about who Jim Comey's replacement will be, former Connecticut Senator Joe Lieberman is among the candidates to replace Comey as the FBI director. According to the White House, President Trump met with the senator yesterday along with three possible other replacements. D Assistant Director Kallstrom, Senator Lieberman has no experience as an FBI agent, endorsed Hillary Clinton during the 2016 presidential campaign, was Al Gore's running mate. Hello. <laughs> what do you make of him being considered for the job? Uh, I know Joe personally. He's a very, very good guy, if you can believe that. Uh, but no, he shouldn't be the FBI director. I mean, you know, they, they need to find somebody that has some integrity, some uh, a lot of experience in, in investigations, somebody that can communicate with with the, with the public and the agents and motivate people to uh, do their best and and you know be bright eyed and bushy tailed every day and get the job done. The FBI is here to protect the American people, not some political person or not some political party. You know, and, and uh, there's so much stuff that's been left off the table the last year. Nothing was done with the IRS. When they, when they went and violated the rights of so many thousands of people. And, uh, you know, the Benghazi thing was all, in my, my view, largely swept under the rug as, as the weapons going to Mexico and, and a whole host of other things. So the FBI director has to stand there and, and you know, figure out the, the jurisdiction that he has or she has and do that job and not be deterred by political people. And if they, if you are deterred, and that was Mueller's big mistake when they passed that hot potato over on the Clinton investigation with a note saying you can't call this a criminal investigation. Right. By the way, you can't have a grand jury. That was the day that Mueller should have stood up and resigned from the FBI. But he chose to dance with the devil, and uh, he paid the price. Thank you, Assistant Director. It's great to speak with you this morning, James Calstrom, former Assistant Director of the FBI. Take care. We'll see you soon. Thank you much. Bye bye.